Good morning from Sassafras Mountain. This will be a windy this morning. And following my ridiculous error that I made in judgment, um, met up with another hiker and he was having some difficulties as well. Different. He was exhausted, hadn't slept the night before, and I think he was de dealing with some bronchial issues. He was having trouble breathing. So uh, I ended up shuttling out with him and staying the night at Above the Clouds Hostel. They were gracious enough to come to Horse Gap, pick us up. And uh, my hiker buddy there, he decided he was gonna go get some uh, medical care, which is probably the best decision. And I was able to uh, shore up my food supply and get a good night's rest in a bed. So anyway, here we are back on trail. It's gonna be a short day. I'm gonna make Gooch Gap, put us at about six and a half miles for the day. And we'll go from there. So we'll check in a little later. Good morning. Another great morning here on the Appalachian Trail. We're just climbing out of Gooch Gap Shelter. And the plan today, should it work out, is at least reach the Lance Creek Restoration Area, maybe Jared Gap. Met a few people yesterday, and one in particular had asked me if I was YouTubing, and I said yes. And she was upset with some of these YouTubers that hike the AT because they film all the easy parts, she said. And real nice lady. And um, she said that she thought it would have been easier. And she is a larger woman. And um, she... Uh, made uh made no excuses about that and well you know said that she was having a rough time and i explained to her that it's not just her <clears throat> there's a lot of people that's huffing and puffing up these trails here in georgia georgia's no joke do not sleep on georgia so if you plan on coming out here prepare yourself train do what you need to do um, otherwise, be prepared for very short mileage until you acclimate your body to doing this day in and day out. But anyway, lessons learned. As well as the lesson from my dumb mistake the other day. But I got that rectified. But I'm sure that is just one of the many lessons that's going to be learned out here. While I spend my time out here. Anyway, that's it for this morning. We'll show you some trail later on if something changes. But right now the view is pretty much just trees waiting for spring 
and the remnants of fall. So, not more than a couple minutes after I signed off of that last video clip, I hear voices and here comes a rolling one-wheeled rescue basket headed to the shelter that I just left and I knew there was a guy there that was sick. Um, he mumbled something about a waterborne illness not sure regardless he was in really bad shape like slept for a couple of hours just on the bare ground in the leaves and he had stated that he had been there for quite a while and he mustered up the strength to set up his hammock and climb in which is the same place I've saw him this morning so I'm thinking that's who they're going to get but regardless you're out here and grant you this particular shelter happens to be close to a it's, it's close to Gooch Gap I think it's about a mile and a half two miles but regardless you are self-sufficient when you're out here if you get sick, you're pretty much on your own. If you can't make it out, you gotta call for rescue. So, um, this is by no means a joke of a trail. This is this is some legit hiking here. So, and it's not just this trail. It's any trail you go on. Anytime you're in the back country, you need to be aware of yourself and your surroundings and your equipment and all that good stuff. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. And that was my first trail magic. Right there in Gooch Gap. Um, Nacho Jim and Steve had set up and they had a good bit of stuff, coffee and beer and coke and snacks and electrolytes pretty cool i really was appreciative for the little sit down break got to shoot the breeze with them a little bit and uh drank a soda and got me some electrolytes and now i'm back on the trail so yeah that's what people do they give back nacho jim said he through hiked i think he said last year so he was out here giving back to the hikers. Anyway, on we go. You ready for this? This is great. While George ain't easy, it does have some views. And like I always say, you got to work for them. That was a probably about a one mile climb right there with the last uh, three quarters of that mile probably being pretty good grade. Kind of beat me up a little bit, but this makes it all worth it. Anyway, see you down the trail. So that was part of the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club's volunteer crew, trail maintainers. And they're out here doing the thing, keeping the trail in shape, 
Um, if you watched my informational video, um, there are, I think, 31 distinct clubs that are all volunteer based that uh, maintain the trail from here to Maine. So, yeah, a little fun fact for you. Larry the Lobster is on the move. If you know, you know. This is a pretty rough climb. The climb to and from Big Cedar Ledges and uh, Preacher's Rock. I think I'm saying that right. Um, definitely Preacher's Rock. The view there, awesome. And that's probably the view that I, I just showed you in the, uh, in, the, in the clip. But yeah, no, it's tough. It is tough. As you can hear, my my breathing is very labored, and uh, I know these videos don't do much justice, but the inclines are pretty rugged. But I'll spin around, and hopefully you can tell. Morning, just broke camp, and we got us a. Pretty major climb this morning. I'm gonna spin around and if you can see through the trees that peak. That's where we're heading. And we're about uh I don't know, quarter of the way up that climb so far. So I've been climbing a few minutes to give you an idea. That is about a 30% grade. It's hard to tell on this camera uh, the elevation gain and loss, but uh, it's not sheer drop-offs, but pretty damn close. Anyway, I'll get back with you when I get to the top. Blood Mountain Shelter. Here I am. <laughs> it's not very big, but it is Blood Mountain Shelter. One of the oldest, if not the oldest on the AT. I forgot the history. I'm, a, I guess, <clears throat> a little overwhelmed. You see this, um, or at least I've seen it a bunch on all the videos and whatnot, but actually, um, Put in the effort to get here, it means a little more. See you in a bit. The view from Blood Mountain, everyone. And it is awesome. Like I said, Georgia don't disappoint. Hey, good morning. <laughs> One of zero today in Blairsville, Georgia. Great little town. Everybody's cool. Um, I'm comfortable. Uh, slept well last night. And, uh, we're going to do the resupply thing, eat some town food, and we'll be uh, heading back on trail tomorrow. I've already scheduled my, my shuttle. And yeah, this is, uh, I guess, the town square that I'm walking past. And uh, I'm headed to get breakfast this morning. So, uh, with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow back on the trail. <laughs>